welcome back everybody. I'm Brad. I'm Steve. Special episode today. I don't know what makes it special, <laughs> but okay. Um, so this is the Citra IPA, kind of black I did, with Trappist yeast. Okay? Oh, that's a lot going on right there. Okay. Now, this was a good beer, but after... The second week, I started having explosions when I opened them. So what the hell? You put a time bomb in front of us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. Okay. So, um, if you haven't saw it, I will post up above the video. <laughs> well, it might just blow it above. <laughs> but we'll see. We're going to try and pour fast because I'm sure this is going to blow. <laughs> Okay. I wear white. <laughs> but this is a fun video. This is what happens when you overcar beer. Which I have to say, I used five ounces in one beer. <laughs> in five gallons. Mm -hmm. But in this one I didn't, you know, look at measure. <laughs> You don't have to measure. You buy the packs of belts yeah. and you dump them in there. Oh, it looks about right. Yeah, okay. You want to open it? No. <laughs> I'm going to actually... I'm looking for shelter. So, here we go. Yeah, here we go, yeah, yeah. It's like a Gallagher for... show where you're getting like hit by watermelons. I mean, is uh, that what's going on here? You want to get your glass ready? No. <laughs> like, how bad is this? <laughs> it might hit the ceiling. Come on. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> oh, I got you. <laughs> Jesus. It's still over carbonated. It is. God. We had to have some fun, didn't we? I don't know if scaring the crap out of me is <laughs> fun, but whatever you say. Okay. So, very overcarved. <laughs> it's going to foam yeah. over. Okay, so, but this was the experiment I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. um, as we know, Trappist, Trappist yeast, it's not going to go. You're okay. Trappist yeast has a plum flavor. So, last time I made my brown Belgium, I used the Trappist yeast, the Abbey, I think it's... Yes. Something like that. 550, I think. Yeah. White Labs 550. Yep. So I wanted to use that, and I wanted to see if I could bring out that plum flavor, but I also had... It's going to go. Yeah, that's what. <laughs> why do you think I've been watching it? I knew it's it was going to go. That's fine. I'll dump some off and you have to. You're going to go over. Ah, son of a gun. Shouldn't have touched it. Nope. You're good. You're good. But, so I wanted to try and bring out that plum flavor along with Citra. Okay. So, if you go back and watch the video of what's in this. It's mainly Citra. I used, I think, I'm almost positive, Warrior up front okay. at 60 minutes, then Citra throughout the whole entire thing because we like Citra. So uh -huh. I have to say that I took almost every single bottle, opened them in the sink, and they went up. This one was going to go if I hadn't poured, so... No, I mean right when I opened them. Volcanoes? Volcano. Gotcha. So, this is a little different. Maybe it's settled down a little. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, um, so we'll see how this tastes. And we have to say, make sure you check with Beersmith or put it in a calculator. Because I actually think... How much hops you put in a beer has something to do with how much sugar. Because I can honestly say I use five ounces of sugar, one packet, per five gallons. 
So if I had a little bit less because of the Citra dry hop, that could have done it. Make sure that you know how much you're gonna bottle before you pour five ounces or whatever in to that bot bottling bucket. Well, and it's a hard thing too, right? Because it's it's not an exact science. Right. Uh, like we were talking earlier with the video is, you know, I look at mine and I've got a mark for five gallons. However, I've got this much, you know, True. Trub yeah, all the stuff at the bottom. And it's like, well, how much am I really going to get? You never know. Uh, and you have to boil that sugar prior to, you know, putting it into that bottling bucket. Right. Um, so if you're unsure, if you're worried, uh, don't go with the 22 ounce bottle. Go with the 12 and then buy the little sugar tablets. Right. They're a little more expensive, but you know exactly what you're going right. to get. Uh, but on the flip side, that's why kegging is so great. Right. Yep. Or if you're going to continue with the sugar, take some out. Yeah. If you have five gallons exactly and you know you have this much trube, put four in. If it takes an extra week to carb, an extra two weeks to carb, even a month. You're going to be better than us sitting here talking so the head can go down so we can drink it. Mine's ready to go. I don't know what yours is. I mean, there's that much in that bottle right, right there. So. Yeah, so right now we have... This much beer. Yep, this that much, much head, head. That much beer. So off-white head. Yep. Right? Can you even drink it? Not citra like I was thinking. Uh -oh. It's oh, like a uh, weird, um, I don't know how to describe that. A weird porter? Yeah, there's, it's, it's almost like citra and brown sugar met with the little alcohol. What is the a ABV on this? I don't have remember. No clue. Oh. Yeah. yeah, it's maybe, a, I don't know. So it's definitely smell. not citra. Mm -mm. Okay, taste it. Wow. Whoa. That's nasty. <laughs> it's amazing. That was what I was smelling. <laughs> Sour. No fruitiness. Um, yeah, takes the words out. <laughs> Don't drink this. Mm. Yuck. I, what do you think happened? I don't know. Sat too long for an IPA. You wanted to drink it. I don't know. A little fresher than this. <clears throat> I don't, that I'm is, guessing um, 10, 11, 2015. Is when it was bottled. Still though, that shouldn't be. I mean, it's, it's like turning into a sour. And there are people right. out there that like sour beers. I don't. Uh, but it's it's almost like something got in there. But if you remember, if you go back and look at our first review, we like this beer. So over, let's say, nine months, six eight months it's it's bad i would this is a beer you should have drank the first month eight months <laughs> eight months ago yes yeah. whoo but hi but this is what it's about though a video this is not a beer i would drink right now if if i would have drank this the first month it would have been good right now this is horrible but i know we don't care for it however it reminds me of some of the French, like, sour beers that we've had at okay. Club. Okay. Like, yep. it, it's not that it's a complete throwaway. It's just, we don't to like us, sours. No. We've never liked sours. I don't think we'll ever like sours. I don't know if we'll ever acquire that taste. Right. But I think it's, it's starting to turn towards that sour, which is weird because, I mean, it's, it's obviously you're not leaking oxygen in there no because the co2 was way too high yeah so 
you know, it's not like a French old school beer where you age it in wooden casks and over time, like the air and oxygen get to it, makes it sour. Right. It's, I don't, I don't know what happened to this beer, but no. it's. Uh, you're it's right. I really liked it. Yep. And it's not a. <laughs> that's how good it is, right there. Your damn coaster stuck to it, but God. <laughs> We might as well throw this video out. Ugh, that's horrible.